What is up guys? I'm Will and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. In today's video, I'm finally going to reveal my new racking system that's going to be used for my Anubius propagation farm. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And guys, I'm pretty tired. I built this whole racking setup today, so I'm definitely, you know, kind of out of energy. So I'm going to try and do this in one cut and it's going to be a pretty straightforward video. Um, just want to get, you know, a video out to you guys today. Um, of course, I can't miss a weekend. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Right, guys. So before we show you the new rack setup, I do need to cover what I've done with the fish tanks because, of course, I've moved them from their previous location and I've replaced that with a new racking system. So over here is now where we have the fish tanks. I removed my closet doors and I have this rack set up in here for my aquariums. Of course, I do have this other fish tank over here. This is a setup for my elderly Zebra Danio. So currently I have three fish tanks, you know, not counting all of my propagation setups as well. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the new racking setup. And here it is, guys. So I ended up going with two by fours and plywood. You know, it just seemed like it was the most cost effective approach and I was going to be able to maximize use of this space. You know, every inch, every square inch counts when you're trying to propagate uh, aquarium plants. So this just seemed to be the best uh, possible approach. I know that on my YouTube channel in the community tab, I did allude to the idea of maybe using a metal rack setup. Um, but in, in the long run, I ended up going with wood and you know, this cost me about 150 bucks or so, but it definitely maximized the space here. And I guess I'll just cover, you know, kind of how this setup works. Um, you know, ultimately my goal is to propagate Java Fern and Anubius in fairly mass quantities. I mean, as mass as you, you could get with <laughs> four shelves, but uh, um, that's ultimately the goal here. But I did want to have flexibility to be able to fill this up with fish tanks if my plans ever do change because obviously if you've been following along my my plans change with this uh, youtube channel all the time so the way that i set this up is uh, it, it is very load bearing i guess it, if you look down from the bottom i've got this piece here on the out on the inside i guess and that comes right up to the first shelf which is resting directly on that so this piece right here comes all the way down to the ground. Uh, so that is supporting as much weight as possible. I mean, you're not relying on screws to be able to hold the weight, right? So if, if the whole setup is gonna break, basically you're gonna have to crush this or break the two by four. You can't just break a screw. So this is a load boring, bearing piece here. And then on top of this shelf, we do have another load bearing piece, which comes up to the next and then on up to the next and so on and so forth. So this really is a very uh, sturdy setup. I mean, you really cannot break this thing unless you just overload in the center. You know, ultimately if I do put fish tanks on here, I might have to put a center support, um, but that would be easy to do. Um, yeah, guys, like, I mean, that is a lot of space for propagating plants. I mean, we're looking at a little over eight feet long by 16 inches wide. So this thing is sturdy and it's got a lot of space for propagating plants. The other thing I'd point out too is if you see if I grab here and really kind of yank on it, the thing is not wiggling whatsoever. And the reason why is because I actually, I took a chunk of two by four here and I screwed that into the wall into directly into a stud. And then I screwed um, the frame from the top shelf directly into that piece of uh, two by four. So this thing is not going to fall over if there's an earthquake, especially if I have, you know, tanks on here full of water. Uh, it's definitely great to be nice and sturdy in the event that we have an earthquake. I mean, shoot though, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get some plants growing in here, guys. I do have LED lights on the way. They've been ordered. 
Um, and I think they're, I'm probably gonna get those in about a week or so. And my plans are to mount those um, on the underside of each shelf. And then I'll also have them hanging from the ceiling. So there's gonna be a lot of LED lights set up in here. And you know what? That's for good reason because take a look at how many plants I have in here. The Java Fern has just absolutely exploded in the last couple of weeks. So pretty soon I'm gonna to need to separate those, propagate them, and get them growing in new setups. And similar, um, we have the Anubius setup, and look at how much Anubius we have growing in here now, guys. It's just incredible. I mean, over the last month or two, this stuff has just exploded. Um, if you've been following along, I mean, just go back a couple of months and I mean, you could see every individual plant, but at this point, there's so many plants growing in here. You just, you don't even know where the plant starts and ends. It's just, it really, it's just getting overcrowded. So <laughs> as soon as I can get those new uh, setups going on the racking system, I'll be able to disperse these such that we can get more plants growing. This is all going to be devoted to propagating plants. And then I'm going to have this for kind of my main showcase aquarium setups. Yeah, fish room is looking pretty sweet. Um, I guess that's it for today, guys. I am definitely out of energy and I'm ready for some food. So I'm going to make some dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did want to just give you a quick overview of the new rack setup and yeah, I guess next weekend you'll probably get a, an update of the lighting setup. Hopefully those do get in time for next week's video. And if so, we'll probably go ahead and cover those in that video. And just for, uh, you know, I guess perspective here, that is a 10 gallon tank. And I could have that twisted this way if I wanted easily. There's plenty of space. So, I mean, shoot, I could fit a lot of 10 gallon or 20 gallon tanks on here definitely excited all right guys i'm gonna leave you with that and i'll catch you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like if you're new here make sure to subscribe lots of uh, aquarium related content is released on this channel each and every week so you're not going to want to miss that all right guys catch you in the next one